Hey everyone, this is Stepan with Claire Online Video and welcome to this short tutorial on creating a fog effect using Adobe After Effects Creative Cloud 2015. You can use this fog effect to add some drama to your footage or alter the weather of your shot. We'll start by having our video clip slash footage loaded into After Effects. You can do this by navigating to File, Import, and then selecting File. With our video added to the timeline, we can now start the process of creating the fog effect. We'll achieve this look by using adjustment layers. I covered adjustment layers in a separate tutorial here on Streaming Media Producer, and you can go back and check that out if you'd like to learn more about them. Let's add our first adjustment layer by navigating to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. The first thing I'm going to do is apply a tint effect to this layer to give my video a black and white look for a dramatic effect. You don't have to do this, but I think it looks much better with this fog effect we're creating. Type in tint into your effects and presets search field and you will see the tint option here. Single click the effect and drag it to your adjustment layer. If you've done this correctly, then you will see your footage change to black and white. For housekeeping purposes, I'm going to change the name of this adjustment layer by having it selected in the timeline and then pressing enter on that layer. Now I can rename this layer to black and white. Next, we'll add another adjustment layer by navigating to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Back in the search field, let's type in Blur. Scroll down until you see Fast Blur, and then click and drag it to the top adjustment layer that we just added. With the Effects Control Panel open for this adjustment layer, we can edit our values for this blur effect. Let's start by enabling the check mark next to Repeat Edge Pixels. Then, let's navigate to the top option and change the blurriness value to 50. Back in the Timeline panel, let's make sure our top adjustment layer is selected and let's rename it to Blur 1. Now we can begin to play with our blend modes and really bring this effect to life. In order to see the blend mode options, you need to switch the view by selecting the Toggle Switches slash Modes button. Now we'll change the mode for our Blur 1 layer from Normal to Soft Light. As you can see, we're already starting to achieve somewhat of a foggy effect to this footage. Let's enhance this even further by duplicating our Blur 1 layer. You can do this by having the layer selected and using the keyboard shortcut of Command or Control plus D. Now you can see that we created a duplicate layer of Blur 1. With our Blur 2 layer selected, let's change that blend mode from Soft Light to Lighten. Now you can continue to duplicate these layers and change the blend modes to your liking, and even the opacity of each layer. For now, I'll stop here and do a RAM preview to show you our finished project. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and be sure to check out my other tutorials here on Streaming Media Producer.